What's up all my vaping friends and family of YouTube, Josh back once again with another e-liquid review for you. Alright, so today we're going to be checking out Coastal Clouds Sugared Nectarine. Uh, so, a nectarine is uh, a peach with no hair. Um, very sweet, super delicious, uh, obviously sugared, which, you know, rolled in sugar, something like that. Some people do this with fruit, like they'll take uh, watermelon or, I don't know, anything, and they just roll it in sugar and stick it in the fridge for a couple days, and you get, like, this delicious fucking treat. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So, sugar nectarine is a combination of, like, basically a peach-type fruit and an orange. Um, and then you got like a sugared aspect to it. So basically orange and peach like coated it with some sugar. Uh, we got our nicotine warning on the side there. Three milligrams. All right, yeah. Three milligram nicotine. I did pick this up from cheapyjuice.com for $9.99. And uh, I don't know how I missed it, honestly. It's been there forever. I thought I already reviewed this. Um, I don't know why I haven't reviewed it yet. I had to go back through. I have like 10 different Coastal Clouds e-liquids and this is not one of them. Um, yeah, so we'll do our finger taste test and then uh, yeah, we'll get into it a little bit more. Nice clear e-liquid as always. Yeah, I already you know, I've been vaping it obviously because I'm not just gonna jump into a review without trying something first super super tasty um would definitely taste like an orange and a peach and then like a nice nice sweetness um almost like natural sugar not so much like you know dollar store bag of fucking sugar like it tastes like real fucking sugar cane sugar very very good um and then i get it's like a, it's like the combination of the peach and the orange. Like they had a fucking baby or something. It's it's absolutely fucking phenomenal. But uh, yeah, we got that loaded up in the Aurora RDA by DJ LSB Vapes and Digi Flavor. I did just pick this up from MyFreedomSmokes.com for only ten dollars. Um, it's a pretty cool RDA. It's got airflow that comes in up at an angle under the coils and then you also have holes in the uh, in the top cap that you can use but I like concentrating the bottom airflow for flavor if I want clouds then I open up the rest but uh, yeah the way it is right now perfect uh, it is a leaky bitch but that's always error on my part or your part or somebody's part because if you do it right, it shouldn't like. Anywho, so we're gonna take a rip off this, and then we'll talk about it some more. Mm. So fucking good. And the orange comes out a little bit more in the vape. I taste the orange like um, like a tangerine. Um, I didn't look at the description of this at all as far as like before the video so I don't remember exactly what the description is but to me I get a tangerine flavor um, mixed with like a peach and then a nice sweetness so yeah it's really fucking good um, I'm using the Athena uh, squonk box as just a mechanical because it literally hits harder than any mech that I own that it, even a tube mod doesn't matter nothing hits harder than this that I have that's mechanical so we're going to take another rip and then we'll get into the 0 to 5s on sweetness and how close it is to the actual description then overall 0 to 10 on whether I recommend it or not mm. so good alright so sweetness on a 0 to 5 on the vape, it's like a four and a half. On the finger, it's like almost a five. It's literally super sweet. But if you're vaping it, um, it takes it down just enough to where it's a perfect amount of sweetness. 
uh, and then 0 to 5 on the description, whether it matches, uh, it's supposed to be a peach and orange type flavor and sugar, and I, I get all of that, so a 5 all day long. Um, they, they have not let me down. I was apprehensive at first. I think this is why I didn't buy it the first time, because of that little sugar cube. I thought it was an ice cube, and I thought it was menthol. So that is not menthol. That is a sugar cube. It's really, really good. Uh, and then my overall vape experience and uh, how much I recommend this flavor or do not. Uh, I'm going to take one more rip, and we'll do that 0 to 10. Cloudy as a bitch. Oh my god, this thing. I love the way this thing hits. Alright, overall rating on a 0 to 10 scale. I'm going to give it a 9.5. This is a strong, strong recommendation for an orange and peach flavor. Um, it's hard to get a really, really good peach or orange flavor. So, 9.5 is definitely a, a good score for this all day long. Um, anything over a 7 is a recommendation, if I haven't said that a million times before. But if you're new to the channel, you need to know. Anything over a 7 is a recommendation. Anything under a 7 is at your own risk, and that's it. Uh, this is only my opinion. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have the same experience, but I do always try to let you know that I have about 20 years in the food industry, and I know when something should taste like, you know, something. Like, if it tastes like what it says it does, or not, or if there's something fucked up in there, and I'll describe it the absolute best that I possibly can for you to make your educated purchase. Alright, so that's about it. We're going to take one more rip off of this. I got a ton more shit. Um, lots of stuff coming. New hardware. I haven't really done hardware in a bit. It just takes so much fucking time and I'm really busy. So these e-liquid one take reviews um, is kind of where I'm at just, you know, for a little bit. It might be a week. might be a couple days. Let's just have to see where we go. I uh, definitely got some cool stuff and even more cool shit coming. So that's about it. Thank you once again for watching Chasing Clouds and Flavor Reviews. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you soon. Stay cloudy.